Hi, welcome to my video. This is Robert. In the washing machine you have these big uh, concrete weight balancers that stop the whole drum from shaking at high speed rotation. And uh, I was doing something and decided that I was going to tighten up the screws to make sure that everything's okay and I tightened one too much. And that cracked one of the weights. Now the effect of that crack is as soon as the washing machine starts spin drying you get this thumping, gentle thumping noise that increases in frequency as the um, drum spins faster and faster and faster. So identified where the cracks are, and if you look carefully, you'll see that the cracks go across the, the concrete and even into the, the um, opening where the, the hole is, where the bolt that is used to uh, hold the weight to the, the outside of the drum. Uh, to the stationary part uh, is and, and what needs to be done is two things one is I physically needed to hold the two halves together and the second thing is I wanted an adhesive to to glue the two parts together and also to fill in the, the little spaces that um, had appeared from the crack um, so the first thing I did is I drilled a lo holes along the crack and that's where I want to put the adhesive that will hold the two halves together and the second place I drilled holes was uh, on either side of the crack where I wanted to clamp the, 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 the two halves together. I got an old cold hanger from the dry cleaners and I used the, 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 like the wire from there which is pretty strong and as you can see I tried to clamp it, push the, the the, the clamps in from one side and then I flipped the stone over the weight over you can see that I've got the two pieces of the the wire and twisted them together and cut them off and pushed them down after I clamped the, the two sides with the metal wire uh, I got some um, painting tape and used by painters um, and I put that on the reverse side this the, the of the, the block just to stop the adhesive from flowing through and spilling out from the bottom. I, I pushed some of the adhesive into the holes and filled in the spaces and you can see in this picture that um, the flip side you can see that the adhesive has got to the tape itself uh, that means that the holes are full and uh, after that I let it dry. Um, it's very important to let it dry in the, in the instructions of the adhesive. They're very, very clear about um, not touching uh, or moving the, the parts until the uh, adhesive has dried out. So I just let it dry. After it dried out, pulled the tape off, just got a knife and just scratched off and uh, cut off any of the, the edgings that were sticking out. And that's it, was ready to put back into the, dry, into the washing machine. Put it back, tested it, and it works like a dream.